engines. Start your engines. Ah, I love that sound. 104th running of the Indy 500 at the Brickyard today. 500 miles takes 200 laps. Story today was Scott Dixon, the Australian, led for 111 laps but was chasing Takuma Sato of Japan late in the race. Late crash with five laps left ended this race under a caution. And you see the, the, the milk bath right there from Sato. Held on to win his second career Indy 500. For Dixon, it's his third time as runner-up. All right, let's check in now. Let's kick it out to Vanessa Richardson live at the Speedway in Indy with reaction after today's fan-free Indy 500. Hey, Vanessa. Hey, it was unreal today. Takuma Sato, a very happy two-time Indianapolis 500 winner. You can see him behind me on Victory Circle. He is wearing that famous wreath, taking a picture with his pit crew. But like you said, Randy, the story today was Scott Dixon. During the race, he passed Mario Andretti and A.J. Foyt for the most laps ever led at the Indy 500. It seemed like he had it, and Takuda, Takuma Sato knew that he would have to hold off Scott Dixon to win. Obviously, we, uh, we love short from Dixie and we knew um, in terms of the fuel strategy was a little tight. I couldn't use the max power so I had to switch back and forth and Scott was coming right through out of the turn four. <laughs> He's screaming coming and yeah. I was just held off. And the crash that actually caused the race to finish under caution. Spencer Piggott, we've been told that he is okay. He is awake and alert, but he's being sent to a hospital here in Indianapolis. Live from Indianapolis, Vanessa Richardson, KPRC Channel 2 Sports. Thanks.